I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on permutation and combination. Here is a very interesting question asked by one of our subscribers who wants to understand how many arrangements can we make with four couples when they sit around a round table or when they sit in a straight row. So in this particular video, we'll talk about their positions on the round table. The link for the other video will be, you can see that and uh, click on that and look into those combinations. Now let's talk about this particular example. The question here is, in how many ways can four couples sit around a round table if spouse sit opposite each other, men and women alternate, right? So these are the two parts to it. You can always pause the video and answer this question. Let's take these cases one by one. So case A, let's take when spouse sit opposite. Now whenever you're talking about round tables, uh, there are some positions which are exactly same since relatively they are each person on left and right is, is the same person. So in these examples, we have to fix a person at one spot and then work out the combinations, correct? So that is kind of very critical to understand. So now we have four couples, right? So think like this. Four couples means we have, let's say, A and A dash, right? B and B dash, C and C dash, and D and D dash. So let's think like this. Right? So these are the four couples. Now, when we say spouses sit opposite each other, that means if I place one number here, any one of them, in that case, the spouse will take the opposite position, correct? So to begin with, we have to fix one person, right? So first thing is we have to fix one position. That is very, very important. So normally, if they are sitting along a row, along a row, in that case, we'll have n factorial combinations, arrangements. In this case, we'll have n minus one factorial. Correct. So total arrangements you can see uh, is always. Let me write here common, which is total arrangements. In circular way, will be always n minus one factorial if there are no restrictions. Okay, so we are not talking about that, but that's kind of a note. We have two restrictions here. The first one is spouse sit opposite to one another. Okay, so let's fix one position. Let's say, uh, let's say one person is fixed here. It could be any of the partner, could be male or female. Perfect. So as soon as you fix one position, we know that the spouse has to go to the next position. So two persons are placed. Do you see that part? Two persons are placed. So we are left with now how many more positions? So out of this, we have one, two, three couples left. Do you see that? So now we are left with six positions because two persons have been placed already, right? So there are six positions that gives us six numbers. So now to fill up the next position, we have six persons to take. As soon as I fix one of them, then the partner has to go on the other side. So it is six times one, right? So, so the partner is fixed, correct? Let me write like this. So we have actually placed four people. We are left with four. So then amongst these four places, any one of those four can be fixed. As soon as we fixed that person, then the person opposite is also decided. That is times one. I'm not writing that one. Now we are left with two positions and two people. So that is two ways to do it. So that becomes our answer. And this is 24 times 2, which is 48. So the answer for the first one is 48. Is that clear? 
perfect. Now let's look into the second scenario where men and women alternate. Right? So let's now look into part B of this, which is Now this scenario is very different from men not being together or women not being together, right? So we are saying they alternate, correct? So uh, that is the case. So no one uh, after a man will have to place a woman. Now to begin with this scenario, we have to fix someone, right? So let's fix a man this time here. Now as soon as you do that, you are left with how many positions? Let's see. So let me just make this uh, all the seats available to you. So we have uh, three, three, six, seven, eight. Now in this particular case, as soon as we fix a person there, we know that only a lady can occupy the next position, right? So there are four ladies, right? So there are four men and four ladies. So as soon as I fix one man, only four ladies can take up the next position. So we say four times. Now once we fix a lady here, the next position can be occupied by a man. We have already engaged one man, so we are left with three men. So let's say we fix up another man. Now again, we have a position which can be taken only by the ladies. A number of ladies left now is three. So that is three. Next position by a man and we have taken already two men. So two are left. So we get this. How many ladies are left by now? We have fixed two. Two are left times two. Right. So, so now we have to fix a man and we already have. So we have only one and one option. Correct. So, so that is what we get times one and one. So that becomes the number of combinations when men and women can alternate and sit around a round table. Does it make sense to you? So the answer here is 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 3, 12, 12 times 3, 36, times 4, 144. So we get this result as 144 combinations. Does it make sense to you, right? So that is how we can solve such questions relating to number of arrangements when persons sit around a round table. Important to note here is that we have to always fix one position and then relatively look into others. That should give you the right solution. I hope it makes sense. The question here is, in how many ways can four straight couples sit in a row? So we are taking husband wives, men and women, right? Four straight couples. So we have eight people in all. You need to answer these four questions. There is no restriction. All ladies are sitting together. No men are sitting together. Each couple sit together. So these are four different combinations which I'm trying to make from the situation where we have eight persons, correct? I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now the very first one, where we have no restrictions. Four straight couples means there are eight persons, so the answer is eight factorial, right? So that becomes the solution of part A, which is straightforward. So we'll just write eight factorial, and the answer, which is 40320. Okay. Now, all ladies are sitting together. Okay. So, what we need to do here is we have to club these ladies. Lady 1, Lady 2, Lady 3, Lady 4. Right. So, we'll group them into one particular group. They are sitting together. Perfect. And then we have four men. So we have four other seats. One, two, three, four. So the number of combinations will be what? Well, if you look at it, 
we have five positions one two three four five so that gives you five factorial right times these four ladies can be arranged in four factorial ways right so times four factorial so we get this solution also so let's write it down so we have five factorial times four factorial so i hope till now there's no problem so that gives you two eight eight zero so earlier the order was forty thousand now it is around three thousand right okay now we have more restrictions and this one is no men are sitting together how do we do this one no men are sitting together that means the ladies can sit together. Do you understand that part? There could be two ladies together, three ladies together, or four ladies together, something like that. But men have to be separated. That is very important to understand. Right? How do we do such a question? So that is a difficult part. One way to do is that no men are sitting together so let's give position to ladies so let's say we have four ladies right so one two three and four so we have this position for ladies so that means ladies could fix can be there so that is let's say lady some ladies right so we have four ladies so that gives you Four factorial ways correct so this gives you four factorial ways does make sense to correct now men there are four men they can take position anywhere in between or in these positions so if men will take one of these five position then they are not sitting together you understand so there are five positions for four men and that gives you 5C4 as the number of combinations. And that is how you get no men are sitting together. Is that clear? Perfect. So let's find this solution now. So we have four factorial times 5C5. Okay, 5C4, sorry. 5c4 which gives you 120 so there are 120 ways in which no men are sitting together correct ladies could be together that is important so as you can see there are different ways in which this can be solved and this is probably a nice way to do it now fourth question here is each couple sit together that means husband wife sit together how do we do this part? That is a tricky part. Now, to solve this, uh, I will suggest this method. Now we have six seats, right? One, eight seats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So amongst these eight persons, so there are eight persons, correct? or four couples so for the first seat how many choices do we have well there are eight persons so we have eight choices correct so any one of those eight can sit here now once one of this eight person is sitting next since we are looking for couples together we know that the other person is fixed the couple will sit right so if husband is sitting here then that wife has to sit here so only one choice is there for the next position now for the third position we have already taken care of two we are left with six persons so we have a choice of six persons here correct but once a person sits here it could be men or women lady or husband you know the partner is going to sit here next. You get the idea. So out of eight, we are only left with four persons. And when that person sits, 
his or her partner is going to take the next position. Now we have two. One of them will sit here, the other one takes the next chair. So we have in a row so many combinations. So the answer is 8 times, 6 times, 4 times, 2. Perfect. So that becomes the solution for each couple to sit together. So 8 times, 6 times, 4 times, 2. 384. So we get this as 384. So I hope all the four solutions are absolutely clear to you. Perfect. Now here is the fifth one. Fifth one which I would like you to answer is that we have each couple sitting together. I want no couple to be together. So this time we want no couple to sit together. No couple to sit together. That is what we want. We have there, there are total number of combinations are 40,000 so on. Each couple is sitting together is 384. But now no couple to sit together. What is the answer for this? So this is a question for you. And as a hint, let me tell you that this is not A minus D, right? It is not A minus D, for sure. No couple to sit together means not even a single couple sit together. That is the question for us. So now you have to answer this question. What should that be? So I'm leaving that for you and I'll respond to this soon. I hope you enjoyed and learned from this particular example. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.